Hello lovely people, welcome back to another insightful video on Ghana's development. In today's video, I'll be bringing you something very breathtaking and exciting. The government of Ghana is still pursuing the very first nuclear plant project that's going to transform the country. Many were of the view that this project was something that's not going to happen. But you couldn't be more wrong, the country is ever moving further. When it comes to the construction of this nuclear plant project, the latest developments are outstanding as the country is hoping to wrap up on the preparations and proceed to the construction phase, which I'm bringing to you on this channel. But before that, I have very exciting news for my viewers. For my viewers outside of Ghana, I advise that you use Lemfi to send money from the UK, US, Canada and any European country effortlessly to your people back home here in Ghana with zero transaction fees. When you use my promo code INSIGHTS, on top of the zero tariff fee, when you send $100, you'll be getting $20 back and when you send £50, pounds, you'll be getting £10 pounds back. The insane part this season is, you stand a chance of receiving all your money back. When you use my promo code INSIGHTS, I had to bring it to you my viewers. Download Lemfi and use my promo code INSIGHTS and you wouldn't regret it. So on getting back to this construction project, the government of Ghana has just sworn in a brand new high-powered board for the nuclear power project. Ghana is hoping to improve its national grid and also bring forth nuclear energy into the country after more than 60 years of talking about it. Which shows you that the country is very serious when it comes to the construction of this endeavor. The energy minister, Honorable Herbert Krapa Jinapo, didn't mince the words. He reminded everyone that Ghana's nuclear dream began with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah himself in the early 1960s. Back then, Nkrumah wanted Ghana to leapfrog into the atomic age alongside nations like the US and Soviet Union. And if he was alive, this dream would have become a reality. Fast forward six decades later, and we are still running on diesel, gas and hydro. But that's all about to change. Minister Jinapo openly admitted that, despite all the studies, all the MOUs, all the promises, zero nuclear kilowatts generated. But now the government is saying enough is enough. They've created nuclear power Ghana as a dedicated agency with real teeth and they've currently shown it in a board of heavy hitters to make it happen. Ghana has brought forth all the great minds it's had together when it comes to the nuclear dream. Imanor Apiakurang is the chairman with deep experience in energy regulation and international negotiation. Also, there's engineer Samo Boache Dampare, nuclear engineer trained in some of the best programs globally. Engineer Edward Oben Kenzo, infrastructural beast who's delivered multi-billion dollar projects worldwide. Also, there's Bernard Kofi Ellis. He's a governance and legal expert to keep everything above the board. There's Benedict Kofi Rompe, the money man who understands the project financing inside and out. Nana Echa Amwa Emisa, who is a political strategist with direct access to the high levels of the government. This shows you that Ghana is dead set, bringing these people together as the new board to elevate this project. The lineup was clearly handpicked, being a dream team for Ghana's nuclear renaissance. We've got technical expertise, political connections, financial acumen and regulatory know-how all in one room. And these are not people who are messing around. They have only one intention to make sure that the nuclear plant project is a reality in Ghana. Let's break it down why this nuclear project is such a big deal for Ghana. Ghana has a current power demand, which is growing from 10% to 12% per year because of industrialization. The Akosombo Dam is over 60 years old and saltation is reducing its output. Gas supply from the West African gas pipelines keep on having issues as the solar and wind are great, but they can't provide the 24-7 baseline power factories needs. Electricity tariffs are already politically sensitive. Any new power source has to be cost competitive. Nuclear power will be ticking every box. Zero fuel cost volatility, tiny land footprint compared to solar farms and a lifespan of 60 to 80 years. The minister said it himself. The country has mastered stable baseline power, which are the ones dominating the 21st century economy. Countries that have mastered a stable baseline power are the ones dominating the 21st century economy and Ghana is looking to utilize this and join that free. The government of Ghana wants the first nuclear plant pouring concrete by 2027 and the assembling of this new board shows that the government is dead serious about this. Generating power before 2035, that's not just a joke. For context, the last country to build its first nuclear plant from scratch, which is the UAE, took about 14 years years from decision to first criticality. Ghana wants to do it faster while being broke and starting from zero infrastructure. But here is what people are missing. Ghana already has a nuclear regulatory authority 
fully operational and IAEA compliant, the feasibility studies are already done, as the site surveys at Dobi and Nkwanta are complete. In other words, a shocking amount of homework has already been done, quietly in the background, and it's very breathtaking to see. However, Ghana is not going to build it alone, as there are smart money conglomerates behind them. One of them is Rosatom of Russia, already has a framework agreement and loves offering vendor financing. Also, there is CNNC, which is China's conglomerate, willing to fund 85% of the project through the state's banks. There's Korea's hydro and nuclear power, the gold standard for new build performance. Also, there is Framatome, which is a French company, pushing hard with the new government. Each has its own geopolitical baggage, as Russia wants to influence West Africa. China also wants mining rights. France also wants to regain the African market, as Korea just wants the prestige. Ghana's challenge is mitigating any unforeseen problems, as playing them against each other without becoming anyone's puppet is a very daunting task. Ghanaians aren't as the people remember Chernobyl, people remember Fukushima, and the board is hoping not to incur the casualties that they did. The board is going to face brutal questioning, and they are ready for it. Ghana is mountain with modern Gen 3 reactors, which have passive safety systems that work without power or human intervention. But yes, corruption is also a risk, but that's why Ghana is having independent nuclear regulators reporting directly to parliament, which is very crucial. This channel has been covering African energy for years, and we've never seen this level of seriousness from the Ghanaian government. The president is mentioning nuclear in every major speech. The budget allocations are also real. Ghana is hoping to improve its national grid and also bring forth nuclear energy into the country after more than 60 years of talking about it. The infrastructural framework is finally in place. Whether this succeeds or fails, it will literally define Ghana's 21st century. If the country manages to pull it off, however, the country will become an energy exporter overnight. If it becomes another white elephant, we'll be paying for it for generations. What are your thoughts? Is Ghana fully ready to go nuclear? Or is the country biting off more than it can chew? I'll be tracking every twist and turn of this nuclear journey, so be sure to stick with me for the long haul. The future of Ghana's power grid is being decided right now. Don't sleep on this story. Remember to share it far and wide. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash that like button if you found this video insightful and learn the 10 or 2. And subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so as not to miss any video about Ghana's aspirations and developments. Also, check out this next video on other impressive developments happening right here in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.